Hello, and welcome back to my channel where I do whatever I want whenever I want to. And today, we are back inside of the village. If you're new here, I have been updating this Plains Village. I'll probably finish it before the time I'm 100 years old. And we have quite a few houses done so far, and I must say, what we have so far, I love so much. Now, the last couple videos have focused on this street right here, which one of the viewers named Tinker Street. So, we have a couple houses already, and we have a whole forge system back here. And today, we're going to be making the third house on this street. Last video was this house right here, which is, you know what, I always forget what the professions are. It's the one with the grindstone. I think that's weaponsmith, because there's a, like weapons and tools around and stuff. Uh, and we also added this sort of crumbling ruin bit to the side of the street. It looks like there were archways there and they all collapsed. So today, we're doing the armorer's house. This one right here, which I have helpfully labeled with all of these blast furnaces. So, first order of business is completely tear down this house and give ourselves room to make something new. Let's roll the time lapse. Now, the, <laughs> the first order of business is to create a nice place for this house to go. I believe I want it raised up a little bit. I think I want it raised up a little bit more. I think that'll look pretty nice at the end of this street here. So I'm just going to create an outline out of dirt. I have a feeling that I'm gonna need to make this base bigger than I think I do. I also have a feeling that I want stairs to go up right here. And I think I want them to be kind of like outdoor stairs. And I think they're gonna do something like this. That's just kind of what I'm feeling. And then I think that will be the top of the hill. So this is gonna be my like, my vague guide for what we're doing right now. And here we go. We have a big, beautiful hill, and I've added a couple extra little things back here as well. Not that I'm going to use in the build, but just to set it into the landscape a little bit. Because, a couple little tips and tricks for you. If you make a hill, and you're making it by hand, and you do something like this, maybe we have the edge of a hill that's like this, right? And then on that edge of the hill, we put up a second layer that looks like this. This is going to look man-made, especially if you continue this to another layer like this and so on and so forth. Because you're not going to get these perfect measurements on most hills that you would just encounter in the landscape, right? This looks fake. So when you're making something, you want to kind of space it out if you don't want it to look man-made, which I don't want this to look man-made. So maybe we put this one all the way up to the corner and then this one we don't. Maybe we leave it with a little bit of space. Maybe we extend this part a little bit and do this. Maybe this curves in here like this, and we let this part of the hill come all the way up to the edge like that. And then suddenly it looks a little less mm, measured and regular and a little more organic. And that is the goal when we make something like this. We want it to look organic. So ignore this part of it. We're gonna return to that in just a second. But if you look closely through here, you can see that the spacing as it goes up between these different levels of the hill is not regular. And that gives it this organic feeling. And then there's this other little bit jutting off back here. Again, I don't plan to add any part of the build right here. I just want it there to set it into the landscape a little bit more. We have this part back here that is a, a slower slope, a less severe slope. And then we have this little hill right here, which is kind of meant to connect these two sections together and make it look like naturally hilly terrain that has been built on top of. And I think that works wonderfully. Now in here, we want this to expose a little bit of stone because it's a bit higher up. So I'm gonna take this and a little bit of this and I'm gonna put, don't look inside. It's so totally filled in all the way, absolutely. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put this here just like that. I like putting the cobblestone a little bit lower because it looks like it has a bit more weight pressing down on it. Maybe it's crumbled a little bit more than the rest. And ta-da. Now that looks a little bit more natural as well. And we're going to have a path going up here. Now, obviously, we don't have dirt slabs, which why don't we have dirt slabs? Moyang, get it together. 
I'm just kidding, I love you. But why don't we have dirt slabs? So we're going to get a slab. And I believe we're gonna just start with normal stone slabs and we'll build up from there. We're just gonna do a little bit of this, like so. And now we're gonna have a nice path up here. I'm gonna change the blocks between these. I don't know if I'll use path blocks or if I'll use more stone. I'm not quite sure yet, but that way it's just a nice smooth walk. There's none of the jolty jumps over blocks like this. And now we have a perfect pla- Oh, are you, are you already moving in? Have you abandoned your old house? <laughs> if you're new to this series, none of the villagers like the houses I make for them. They all try to leave. So I do all this work for nothing. They, look at him, he's not even in his house. That's not even his house, that's the Fletcher's house. What are you doing? Anyways, I would like this house to have a large stone base to it. Kind of like what I did over here with the Fletchers where it has this, this stone base to it like that, but I'm thinking something a little bit bigger and blockier. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but I'm just gonna throw something down and I'll bring you back in a second. Now here's what I have. I like to imagine the the character of the person that I'm building for, right? So when I made the cleric's house over here, it's a little bit more wonky, a little bit more whimsical because this is a person that's brewing some potions and stuff, right? And so it's gonna look a little bit uh, uncouth. Over here, now we have the armorer and I'm imagining something very strict and orderly. So that is what I'm going for in this build. And I've replaced a little bit of the dirt on some of the corners here where this overhangs because I really like the idea of having it really being set into the landscape like this a little bit more. I even throw a couple of these in here like this. Maybe add one. Go back to your house. Is this the shepherd? It's a fisherman. Have you, do you think that that house is for you? I haven't even made a fisherman's house. You can live down there. Nobody saw that. God, what is it with this angle? Nobody saw that. So we have a couple of these base pieces here like this, and I need to come up with some designs for them because I imagine this one over here, this large one being open to the air. So like I said, there's already a forge back there, so I don't feel the need to build another forge on this street. There might be some small examples of that here, like maybe a small bellows or something like that. I don't know. But I don't think I'm going to build a full one because, like I said, there's there's one literally right there. So this is going to be a place to uh, display some of the armor stands in an open way. So there's going to be sort of like turret-like things. Um, we're going to make this look far, far better. But that's kind of the idea. Some some turrety things spaced out here. And then this over here... I guess is gonna be more of the house part of it. And I'm imagining a very particular style here as I do this. I just have to choose the right blocks to do it with. So I think I'm going to get a stone stair. We're just gonna be good with the shape and then we're going to texture it a little bit more. This is what I'm imagining here. So we have these kind of crenellations popping up, but they're hugging the house over here and they're going to somewhat hug this overhang that I'm going to make on top of this area as well. And then we have these stairs that are going to lead up to both separate areas. And I think I would like to, uh, I'm gonna change this up just a little bit. Oops, don't look down there. Oh, what if I, what if I remove these? Hold on, just had this realization. Now let's see what it's looking like. Oh, that's nice, that's cleaner. I think we're going to just have a little bit of a, Almost a balcony-ish thing right here. That's nice. Okay, so now we have a good shape to work with. We have to finish this house part here and we have to give this a little bit better of a texture. So I'm gonna go through here and look at some stones. I'm gonna try a couple different designs here. I'm gonna try one where we have this a little more prevalent. We might actually join this with some andesite. We'll see what looks good. Oh, okay. You're free. That's not bad, but I would want to change the stairs on top. All right, that's an idea. Let's go over here and try something a little bit different. Let's try this with uh, these chiseled blocks. We would need a different set of stairs on top again. I think this time we would pick these. Now, which do we like better? This style right here 
or this style right here. And I do think I'm going to go with this one. I like this one better. So we're going to replace this over here. Goodbye to the smooth stone. You know, I don't really use smooth stone that much. I don't think I'm the biggest fan of how it looks. And we're going to take these and bring them through a little bit. And I'm going to make them almost look like a, a vague brick pattern. And there it is. So we have this pattern all the way through the build now. I think it looks fantastic. And we have these chiseled stone bro bro bl chis chiseled stone blocks every now and again. Let me get a wall in here. I'm trying to choose places for sconces, and I actually think this might be the way to go, just like that. And lower these a little bit as well, and let's bring in lanterns. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that warmth. All right, now we have to finish the shape of this house, create a little doorway here out to the balcony as well. And we also have to give this a little bit of shape here. So create a little bit of an awning for this overhang that I've designed. And then we'll go from there. You know, for this one, let's roll a little time lapse, shall we? I'm really very happy with this. So this part, obviously, a lot more simplistic. This one over here has a good bit more going on, and I don't think I've ever made a roof quite like it before. I kind of wanted it to resemble this one over here. Vaguely Scandinavian inspired. And there's a good bit of detail in here. So we have this, obviously, for the lanterns. We've got little set-in windows into the roof with their own frames and shutters, which I really like the look of. And then we have some signs here kind of continue some of the textures that I want to emphasize a little bit darker here. And then we have this outer trim texture moving into the center part of the roof. And we have these acting as a sort of binding archway on the top that give just a nice little aesthetic touch to the arch of the roof. I'm very happy with this, really very happy with this. Now, I think I've decided that I would like this to be stone. I don't want it to resemble the house too much though. And now we're going to mix this up a little bit with this. It's going to look a little bit more like a natural stone pathway. Now we have this nice mix of stones as we go up and I think I even want to give it a little bit of a trim. So I think I'm going to dip this down here a little bit more like a so. That way we can maybe dip the leaves down a little bit like that. I think I like that. I do. That way they're kind of taking the place of the grass there. I like that for the trim for this. And then we're going to connect this to this right here. And we're going to continue this around here. Let's see how this looks from the side. I think I might, yeah, want to bring this down just a touch. There we go. See, this looks a little bit, hmm, not quite stately, but a little bit cleaner than a lot of what's going on over here. I would like to take some of these actually now that I'm here. And do I like the look of that? I think I do. I think I do. Okay, this is coming along absolutely beautifully. I think I'm also going to bury a couple of these in here a little bit. Oh, I think I like that. The way it kind of guides you up the pathway like that. Oh yes, oh yes. Now we're just gonna throw a couple extra things on here. I'm going to add a couple windows like this. I don't want them directly in the middle of that. It looks very much like a face, doesn't it? Uh, I don't want them directly lined up with the window up there. Um, this side can get one window as well. This one doesn't need any. And this one, we might actually put one window up here. I think that might be a nice way to offset that. That way we can build up against this wall a little bit more and not have to worry about all the windows on it. And we're going to take this and throw it here and here. These are just going to look like little shutters. Uh, we don't need one there. Now I also want to add one more thing down here at the bottom. 
And this is just going to be a little signpost. We're going to fill it in with nonsense. <laughs> But there, it's just a little a little beacon to this person's house. We're also going to lead the road into it a little bit. Let's get a spoon. There we go. And in addition to this, we will get a little button. Stone button. And we're just going to spread it around a couple places like so. There. Oh, this looks so good. Uh, one last thing to clean up. We don't want this little dirt showing. So we're going to put stone there. And I think this looks absolutely beautiful. Now, before I do anything inside the house or out here, I'm actually going to finish up some of the landscaping around here. I think we're going to put in a few more clumps of these. They're going to be a little messier than what's in the front of the house, but not like super messy. And we'll have them just dotted around a couple other places, make them look kind of like they're part of the landscape. And we'll do a little bit over here as well. Beautiful. And now that we've done that, we're going to go in with the bone meal. Tie all of this together a little bit, make it match the stuff that's around it. What are you doing in here? This is not your home. There. Doesn't that look lovely? Let's get a little bit more of this up here, though. It's missing just a touch and over here kind of spreads out into the landscape a little bit more wow look at how lovely tinker street is looking right now and the whole town in general this is beautiful now it is time for the last pieces which i'm going to do off camera and just walk you through the interior you know as i look at this I'm starting to realize why some of these villagers do not want to live in the homes that I make for them. So this is the little house. <laughs> this is the upstairs, the bedroom, if you will, with the rafters. And this is the downstairs. Oh, I don't have a light in the downstairs. What am I doing? There we go. Beautiful and perfect. This is the downstairs, a little reading area, a little cooking area, and there's a patio. That's enough room for a villager, right? So if we leave this little house right here, and turn this way, we get to the armory setup. Now, I actually changed a few blocks in here on the outside. I added some of these because I thought they looked pretty cool. And then from the inside, they also look kind of like some furnaces, right? And there is also on the outside of this place, a little chimney for the stove inside. And I've added a couple blast furnaces into the design of the building, as well as just incorporating it up here. Now, I just threw together these armor trims, kind of willy-nilly, uh, just to show a bunch of examples of what could be. Because this thing over here, this house, actually has the, the block that you would use for the item frames. Or the item frames, the item trim, the, the armor trims, you know what I mean. But they were not out at the time that I made this, so... Now they get to be shown off over here, and there are some ores that you can use to make them, a blast furnace, smithing table, anvils, a bunch of trims and armor, all that good stuff, and a beautiful place to display them. And this is what it's looking like all together, with the landscaping, the details, the exterior. Oh, I'm so happy with it. So... There's only one thing left to do, and that is to add the villager. Now, this does not tend to go very well for me. <laughs> this is where they like to run away. So, I have actually added into the floor of the house a bunch of blast furnaces. All of these are blast furnaces. That way, when I spawn the villager into the house, hopefully they will love it so much they'll be like, Oh my god, my profession is a blast furnace and not like, a f what, what would this give a person? A meat cooker, -er, a butcher? I don't remember. Let's try this. Moment of truth. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, yes! We're locking in his trade. Now he will be an armorer for. forever. <laughs> That's a lot of legs. Alright, do you like your home? Go ahead, explore. Go you want to go upstairs to your beautiful bedroom? Oh, you want to sit out on the patio? You no. No, 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 no. We're not doing this again. You've, he just literally escaped off the balcony. This can't be happening. <laughs> Why don't you like it? I went to all this trouble for you, Frederick. 
And now you don't like your own home? Just go up the pathway right here, please. See, it even says your name right here. Look at you, you little osidifdivkisidif... I'm sorry to me to insult you. Well, what's he doing? Where's he going? Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. No. Why? <laughs> well, I do hope that you enjoyed this, even if little Frederick did not. And if you did, then uh, give it a sure and a subscribe and a like and a stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.